This way. Here, this way. Stop! General Shahu. This is Yingbu, the king of Juche. Oh, where's the king of Han? Wait here. The King of Han will see you now. Yingbu, the King of Jujang is here. Greetings, King of Han. So you're the King of Jujang. Pleased to meet you. I came here to discuss with you how we'll attack you together. You must have traveled a long way, Shaho Ying. Yes. Escort the King of Jujan to the guest house. Understood. My lord, this way. Why are you leaving so soon? Move! King of Jujang! King of Jujang! Your Majesty, is there really no other option? As the King of Jujang, I betrayed Shang Yu and came here to join Lu Bang. But then, look at how he treats me. When I set off for Jujang, the King of Han was very sincere. I don't understand why he's like this today. If you feel like I tricked you, then you should kill me. If you feel like the King of Han has insulted you, then you should talk to him about it and criticize him for his behavior. The last thing you should do is commit suicide like a coward. There's something I didn't tell you. On the way to Xingyang, I received news that Shang Yu has attacked Zhuge. My men were defeated. And to punish me, Shang Yi killed my entire family, more than a hundred of them. <sighs> We've traveled a long way to come to Xingye, but Lu Bang has shown me nothing but disrespect. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? And soon, the whole world will know about this, and I'll become a laughing stock. I can understand your pain very well, but Your Majesty, I still don't think you should act so rashly. Why not wait and see what happens? Perhaps things will turn out better. If the King of Han really is like this, then I was wrong about him. If that's the case, then I'd gladly take my life with you. How about it? I know you were once suspended in a wooden peg in Lishan. Even under pain of torture, you never tried to commit suicide. I know what to do now. If the Yupan won't accept me, then I'll leave tomorrow. But enough. Since that's how you feel, let's just talk again tomorrow.
let's go. Oh, you're leaving. Go back inside. What are you doing here, King of Han? Ah, uh, well, I thought you must be exhausted after traveling. I was worried. I wanted to make sure you're comfortable. I do not deserve your concern. <laughs> you're still angry with me, aren't you? Come. I've heard that. You were arrogant. And a bully. And after yesterday, I started to believe it. So then do you regret surrendering to me? <laughs> to be honest, I offended you on purpose. Don't you want to know why I did that? Suiha told me about how he killed the Chu Emissary. If he hadn't, I'm quite sure you wouldn't have come to join me, am I right? I wouldn't know if you were sincere about joining me. I acted like a terrible host, so I would be able to see your determination. If you had left in anger, it would prove that this was only a temporary solution. If you're going to leave me anyway, I'd rather you leave now. I came here with sincere intentions. I want to join you in attacking Chu. <laughs> then why were you about to leave? I came here to join you, and that angered Zhang Yi, so he attacked Zhu Zhang, and then he killed my entire family. I need to avenge them. Is that true? I can understand your feelings. Actually, at the moment, I don't know where some of my family members are. to be brothers with me. I, uh... I hope you'll agree. Shang Ye is also my enemy. We can unite to attack him. What do you think? All right. Go and take back Zhu Zhang first. I hope that you'll win this first battle. <sighs> but for tonight, I'll throw you a banquet. Let's go. King of Han. Shang Yu led his men on an attack on Shi to save a besieged Chong Yue. But once again, they encountered the same problem they did in the past. Shang Yu wins the battle, but doesn't claim the land. And so, the moment Shang Yu left Qi to return to Peng Chong, rebels appeared in Qi again, and they came back stronger than ever, strong enough to defeat the Chu. And so Chong Li Mei, who was left in the city, had no choice to return. General of Chu. It's a disgrace for me to travel all that way just to save you. And now you've lost again and returned. My king, I have no excuse to offer for the defeat. The only reason I'm still alive is because I'd like to make a request on behalf of our soldiers. A request? What request? Your Majesty, when we were all fighting in Chi together, we were able to win battle after battle. Because you were there. In their hearts, our soldiers held on to the hope that after we win, they could finally return with you, return to their hometowns to see their families again. 
That's why morale was high and we sent the enemy fleeing. But after you left, Chi, Chen Hong led his soldiers and attacked ferociously. They weren't afraid to die. They were fighting to protect their homeland, to protect the land of their ancestors. But our men don't understand why they have to stay in a foreign land. They just want to go home. They just want the war to be over, your majesty. Excuse us. You're simply afraid to die. Your Majesty, please allow me to finish talking. Then, I swear I'll kill myself here to make up for my crimes! You're not allowed to die. I want you to keep your life. Take Lynch and City back for me. Your Majesty, I'm begging you. Think carefully about what I said. General, out of here. Understood. Understood. Your Majesty. Let's go. Move. Brother. Can you not see the General's loyalty from his unkempt hair and bare feet? Although he was defeated, I still feel like what he said was reasonable. Have you thought about it, brother? Are we using the correct strategy? And what do you know? I've fought for so long, and you don't think I know what's reasonable? I'm not interested in that land at all. But even if I don't want their land, I will not tolerate disrespect from Chi. Understand? Brother! Think about it. If we attack, win the battle, then just leave. The war will never end. We're just wasting our forces. I don't believe Ten Hong can defeat my army! I have a hundred thousand men! Chen Hong must not die in battle. Catch him alive. I want to see for myself what kind of a man he is. You're planning on attacking Chi yet again. I am. Chi is critical. But you critical. shouldn't. No, you can't stop me. I must destroy Chen Hong. I won't allow him to make trouble. Your Majesty, now is the time to attack Liu Pang. We should concentrate on him first. We shouldn't send our forces to go back and forth across long distances. Liu Pang wants to be the Emperor. Uh, Tian Hang is not as dangerous as him. You know this, Your Majesty. Do you expect me to tolerate this insult? What can Lu Pang actually do? He thinks he can go against me and rule the world because he has Hanshin? Well, he's wrong. He's still far off. Your Majesty, you know Ying Bu has betrayed you in the south, and we're not sure about the fiefdoms in the north. If we don't take action soon, your hegemony will be in danger. Are you becoming more timid the older you get, Sworn Father? It has nothing to do with my age. Being aggressive is not the only way one can conquer the world. The reason my army is invincible is precisely because we're aggressive. Look at my ancestors. They tried to make allies, but what happened in the end? Should I die like them, wallowing in regret and sadness? Sworn Father, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, didn't Shu conquer Qin by forming a strategic alliance? Please listen to me. I'm not underestimating strategy. I'm just not interested in it like you. And depending on it alone is useless. In the Battle of Pangcheng, I sent 500,000 cowards fleeing with their tails between their legs. So tell me. How can Lu Bang be considered my match? Your Majesty, things always change. I'm attacking Chi first. I will not tolerate insults. Good advice doesn't always sound nice. Enough talking, I've decided. There are many Tian Hanks in this world, but there's only one king like you. That's right. I'm the only king. Sworn Father, you should know that I already have a plan on how to grab Lu Bang around the neck.
General, Shang Yi is coming. Everyone's running away. You should run away too. Why can't I run away? Shang Yi's forces, where are they now? They are near. As far as an arrow flies, we can't protect outside. We can't protect the food supplies here. If you don't run now, it'll be too late. Say you'll run again, and I'll kill you! Uh, come on, uh, let's go! Let's go now! Let's go. Where are you going? Let's run! Let's run. Let's run away! Stand your ground! Let's go. run! Stop! Go. Come on, let's go! Hurry! Anyone who dares run will be killed by my hand! Jomo, I'm glad you're here! Thank God! The Lord orders you to reorganize our men and deploy them mm. along the paved path. If you lose the path, you're in big trouble! Don't worry! No one's taking it! You, gather our cavalry and have them hide along the sides. No one can leave camp without my orders. Those who do will be killed. Understood! As long as I'm here, the path is ours. Stand your ground and fight with me! Let's go! My brothers, charge! My brothers, charge! Shang Yi's leading his men himself? Yes. Are you certain? I thought Chao Bo might be wrong, so I took a few scouts and led them north. Then I saw Shang Yi with my own eyes. He's making his way here. Did you actually see him with your own eyes? Did you see him in the flesh or did you just see his banner? His banner. His banner? And the person himself? Uh. See how terrified you are? This attack is nothing but a mere bluff! General Luan, a few days ago we received a report. The Chang Yi is leading his army to the east to attack Qi again. So right now he's probably buried deep in the struggle against Qi. How could he get back this quickly? And at a time like this, Fan Tang is using Chang Yi's banner to attack us. What does that say? It means that they're afraid that we'll attack while Shang Yi's away. What Fan Zhang wants to do is distract our attention. Then what are we supposed to do? Obviously, we attack! That's why Fan Zhang has given us a golden opportunity. Attack them fiercely! Now we have more soldiers than they do! This time, we'll definitely win! Attack! Tell Cho Bo and Fan Kwai that I order them to bring back Shang Ye's banner after they defeat the enemy! Understood! Now go! I'd be happy to! Zhang Lian, if we can win this battle, our morale will be greatly strengthened. This is very important. This battle can be won with great ease. Within a mere two days, we'll cut off their paved path. Oh, but I'm afraid Liu Pang. We'll be able to realize very soon that our king isn't leading this attack. Of course, Cho Bo won't and he'll be terrified, but Zhang Liang will see through our trick. <laughs> Don't worry, Prime Minister. In a couple of weeks, Outsan will be in our hands. Reporting! Prime Minister! Speak. Hand reinforcements are on their way, but we were unable to see how many there are! You're dismissed. Yes, sir! Prime Minister, do you think Liu Bang has already guessed that our king is not with us? Hmm. It's a shame that our forces aren't strong enough. If only we could conquer out Sung. But the tide has turned. They're determined to attack us with everything they have. Please give the order. I'd like to lead the remaining forces to meet the enemy. No. All you'll need is a small group of soldiers. You are to put away our king's banner and leave immediately. But why? We shouldn't allow His Majesty's banner to end up in Liu Pang's hands. As you command. Ha <laughs> ha 
slab of meat and a flask of wine. <laughs> Here, have some. You want a bite? Hey, what's wrong with you? You don't have to be so glum. So what if Shang is coming? What's scary about that, huh? I really want to face him in a battle. Hmm? Hey, hey, hey! If you don't stop being so glum and undermining our soldiers' morale, I'll behead you myself! Our morale's already been undermined. You don't need me to do it. Hang on, what do you mean? Listen. Chobo's playing that damn flute again. Ha! Ah, he's been doing that for a long time. You fought together with him longer than I have. When was the last time you heard him play? It's been quite a while since he last played. Ever since Han Shin came along. He has not played even once. Hey, Luan! What are you trying to say? No. The soldiers His Majesty sent can't be called reinforcements. Just look at them. Can they withstand Shang Yi's attack? This is why Chobo is unhappy. He's playing as a diversion. I'm also unhappy. Hey, is it really that bad? Use your head and you'll understand how bad it is. <laughs> I don't want to think that much, or care about that much. I will follow whatever the king orders, always. If he orders me to fight, even if I'm left on my own, I would still kill as many as I can. If all our soldiers were as tough as you are, we would easily defeat even ten champions. <laughs> <laughs> Drink! <laughs> West flank has suffered an attack, and now they are in this area. They were blocked. Impossible. Aren't Chopper's soldiers on the paved path? I don't know what's going on either. Listen, order General Pu to attack the left rear of the Han army directly. Do not hesitate. I don't care. Even if it takes every last one of them, they must take over the path. Understood. Reporting! Sir, General Pu surrounded. The Han had reinforcements. The strange thing is, they have the King of Han's banner. The King of Han's banner? Is he crazy? Prime Minister, obviously the King of Han has led all his forces to launch an all-out attack. He assumes that we cannot beat them. Prime Minister, we should escape while we can. Prime Minister, I think we should avoid them. Let's go! Let's go!
fighting, we still haven't achieved anything, right? Fan Chang escaped, and we didn't kill many enemies. All we got was this ugly banner. I agree with you. We've lost many of our soldiers, too. I know. Is this something we should be happy about? Have we all lost our minds? You know what I think? I think we should chase Fan Chang and beat him up. And we should not stop until he pisses himself and cries for his parents. If we do that, we won't just have this crappy banner. That would make us happy. Oh, Mr. Zhang Liang. No, oh, Mr. Zhang Liang. Mr. Zhang Liang. Generals, I can understand your feelings quite well, but for this battle, we only had two objectives. First, to let the commoners of Xingyang believe that the Han army is capable of protecting them. Second, to boost our soldiers' morale. Look at them. Do you think our soldiers are still terrified of facing the Chu army in battle? Generals! Our king bids you to enter. Go, no, please. Where is Mr. Jan? Uh, go Let's ahead. Go. Majesty, the Prime Minister has lost the battle, but we can't blame him. He hopes you could forgive him for this defeat. Liu Bao sent all his soldiers in Xinyang to attack us. Not only was it boorish, it also goes against logic. The King of Han won purely because of luck. I also beg your Majesty to kindly forgive the Prime Minister. Do you think our soldiers weren't affected by this defeat? Our forces aren't affected. I agree. I think General Mei is correct. On your feet. Come on, get up. I never really expected Sworn Father to conquer Xinyang, or even Outsung. I think he just wanted to buy some time, since I was away fighting in Qi. Perhaps he thought he could scare Lu Peng. <laughs> so we don't blame the Prime Minister? He did well. Why should I blame him? We lost a fight, and a banner, but I wasn't even there. It's only a piece of cloth. If we lost, then we lost. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but once I've defeated Qi, I will destroy Lu Bang once and for all. Do not ever mention the defeat in Xingyang in front of a sworn father. Otherwise, you're dead. Understood. Your Majesty, it's my fault. I'll accept any punishment. No, Sworn Father, please rise. I Get know up. that you will forgive me, but I can't forgive myself. Oh, Sworn Father, I've never even thought of blaming you for this. You're making me feel bad. Let me help you up. No, no, no. I'd rather kneel. <sighs> You're all dismissed. Understood. Understood. Your Majesty, no, you can't kneel. No, listen to me. You are not to blame for this. 
I practically pushed you into attacking. You attacked Xingyang because you wanted to buy me time while I was conquering Qi. And now that I've done so, it means our strategy was effective. This is a victory, not a defeat. Please stand. No, your majesty, no, it's a defeat, a terrible defeat. I even lost your banner. This will adversely affect our soldiers' morale. <sighs> it's nothing but a piece of cloth. Does the morale of our soldiers depend on the banner? Of course not. Their morale depends on me, the Hegemon King. As long as I'm on my horse and appear on the battlefield, our army will not be defeated by anybody. So stop blaming yourself. Get up. Oh no, I really shouldn't. <sighs> All right, I'll be honest. In this battle, you have made contributions. What? Big contributions. You're teasing me. <laughs> Liu Pang was practically forced to abandon Xingyang. He sent all of his soldiers to fight you. Do you know why? Because he feared you. That's why he threw everything he had to attack you. This time, he was just lucky. But next time, he won't be. Huh? It's been said to know yourself is to know your enemy, Swornfather. With this battle, you helped me see the Yubang's ability and just how little there is of it. You've helped me understand him better. What is this if not a contribution? You've done a great service, a great service to me. Isn't that right? Now come, get on your feet. Swornfather, oh, get up. Perhaps other people don't understand you. But I do. From now on, we won't discuss this. Let's just forget about it. Let me escort you to your town. Thank all right? you. Thank it's you, Your Majesty. Um. Listen to me, Father. <laughs> Dying is easy. But our death won't have any meaning if we die here. But I don't want to burden you anymore. I'm... I'm going to talk to them! No, wait! Do you want to be insulted? He is the King of Han's father! The King of Han and Shang Yu are sworn brothers. How can he treat an old man like this? No one's going to listen to you! Then I'll fight until they I do, Miss Kao! Just let me die. Don't do this! Don't let me go! Tell me, do you want to live or do you want to die? I already escaped death once. I'm not afraid of dying. Listen to me. This is all my fault. You could have avoided this misfortune. Pretty Jen, I will say it again. I am Liu Pang's woman. His father is also my father. You're also his woman. Which is why I think of you as a sister. That can't be changed even if I don't accept it. I'm willing to die for his father and for his wife. You cannot die. You should stay alive no matter what. You need to live for the sake of your son. Take good care of him. And when this is all over, bring him to the King of Han. Remember this. so much he wants to skin him alive and eat his flesh. He also hates us for being the king's family. And you're going to beg him? Then what else should we do? Are we just going to watch them despair? Listen to me. We must look for an opportunity to escape. What? Listen. Just take care. 
care of your son. I'm going to handle everything else. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Move it! Move those feet faster! Hurry up! Move it! Hurry! No slacking off! Work faster! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Move! Move it! Dinner's ready. Come and eat. You there! Hurry up! Come and eat! Move it! Line up, line up! Hey, get in line! Faster! Those are the back! Thank you. Hurry, hurry. I'm so hungry. Thank you. Wait for your turn. Sorry. Hey, can you give me more? Hey! What are you doing? I... I'm not doing anything. What's that in your hand, then? <laughs> Do you want to die? <laughs> Wait, sir! Please, sir. Fellow workers, look at your bowls. This is why King Shang's feeding us. We're human beings. This food isn't even fed for dogs. We work so hard every day. And we still have to go hungry? Is this all right with you? No, 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 no. One more word, and I'll kill you! Don't! What's going on here? General. General. What's the problem? General, this man is creating trouble. Queen of Han, we received orders not to make things difficult for you, but you must understand. That you are not guests here either, but slaves. If your people refuse to behave accordingly, then I would have to punish them. You're right, General. I'll reprimand him. Do what you're supposed to do. Don't make trouble. Yes. That's all right, then. Eat up, then continue working. Continue eating. Continue eating. Why do you always make trouble for me? Don't ever do this again. Yes. Now go. All right. This man's also for Feng Yi. Now he works odd jobs here. Oh, my queen, my greetings. No need for courtesies. Please get up. Come, have a seat. My lady, you were right about everything. That traitor Yong Chi is very cruel, but he's also very stupid. He beats me up every night. However, he allows me to walk freely around the camp. That was how I was able to meet him. He can help us escape. Security here is very strict. The food's carried into camp every day at noon. My main duty in the camp is to carry out waste matter to the western post. Then the Chu army servants will take them away. Huh? Are we escaping by hiding in the manure barrels? No, that's not possible. However, there's a wall under construction that's about a hundred meters from the western sentry post. There's a little hole in that wall. No need to say more. We cannot delay. We trust you. Please take this. Wait, is that written in blood? It's all up to you now. All our lives are in your hands.
风吹，吹乱万象，吹不乱我思想，吹不乱我方向，在世无声。谁知我心所向？谁知我心所向？